Hello, my name is Chris, and today I'm going to show you how to install a graphics card in your computer. Before we begin, make sure you have the following tools available. A Phillips screwdriver, and an ATI graphics card. I'm using the Diamond ATI Radian HD 5770 graphics card for this install. First thing you want to do is make sure that your computer is shut down. Next, turn off your power supply in the back of your computer and then disconnect all cables from your computer. After you've disconnected all the cables from your computer, you want to make sure you open up one of the panels on the computer to get into your motherboard. Now, depending on your case and your motherboard, they will be different from what we're using here. Sometimes they'll have screws, sometimes they'll have switches. In this case, there's a switch here on the back of our computer to expose this panel. When I flip it, I can easily slide out the panel. Before you even touch anything inside your computer, you'll notice around here there's a metal plate surrounding your case. You want to make sure that you touch this at least once before you begin your install so that you release any electricity from your body onto this plate and you don't damage any components inside your computer. Once you've opened up your computer and exposed your motherboard, you want to locate your PCI Express slot. Now you'll notice inside this computer we have three slots to install a card into. The first one is this white PCI slot. Next, we have a small black PCI Express one lane slot. And the last one we have is a long black PCI Express 16 lane slot. And this is the slot that we will be using to install our graphics card into. You'll also notice next to that slot here in the back there's a bracket with a securing screw. Normally you would take your Phillips screwdriver and remove that screw and the bracket so you can install your card. Since this one has a twist undo screw, I'll just go ahead and use my fingers to remove the screw. And then just remove the bracket. Once you've done that, you'll need to take a look at your power supply and locate a PCI Express 6-pin connector. You'll notice here on our card, in the front, there is a little connector in the vent that has 6 pins in it. This is your connection where you're going to take your power supply and connect it to your card. Now this cable is coming from the power supply and it is a PCI Express 6 pin connector. So we're going to take this cable and connect it right into the card. Once you have it connected, you can just go ahead and make sure that your PCI bus connectors line up with the PCI slot in your computer and just give it a little bit of force until you hear it lock into position. Once you hear it lock, go ahead and take your securing screw you removed from before and just screw it back onto the bracket. Once it's in there, you can go ahead and put your panel back on your computer, lock it and then reconnect your cables to the back of your computer. After you've connected all of your cables to your computer, what you want to make sure first is that you don't have any onboard video. Now, what do I mean by onboard video? Well, you'll notice here on the back of our computer that we have a VGA port, this blue D port right here. If you have this on the back of your computer, you have onboard video and if you try to turn on your computer and connect your monitors to your new video card 
rather than connecting back to your onboard video, you won't get any video. You need to first disable your onboard video. So we're going to take a VGA cable and just connect it right into that slot. Make sure to screw in to secure the cable. And once that's done, you can go ahead and turn on your power supply.